Mine's the one on the left, the one on the right, and the one in the middle. Oh, it any any wrong. left you can have. Dip your bread into that juice if you dare. Can I just have a, a little bit of uh, yeah. bread? So yeah. Yeah. Dip your bread in the juice. Oh, oh, oh smell it. Oh, mm. soak that in oh. there, Lou. I'll put that back. Oh. It's it's soak you a bit. Oh. Leave me a bit, Fred. Yeah. Soak a bit, lad. Yeah. Garlic. What is that, Fred? They're not favourite, are they? Oh, oh, oh is that burnt garlic? Isn't yeah. it? Those slippers. These are fair. Oh, These that. These are your um. Can you put in it? Broad yeah. beans with yeah. ham. Mm. Iberico. Mm. 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 It's got to be a quick video before Jean eats it all.
This is a map of the Middle East. <laughs> this is Damascus, where we are. And this is C for Cairo, where we are going to. So this is Plaza de America. That's Plaza de España, the National Pavilion. We'll see it in a few minutes. And this is the park. Almost 90 acres big, not bad, such an old and central park. We have many parks in Seville, but when we say the park, we mean this one, Maria Luisa's park. Uh, we have very good conditions in Seville for all kind of plants. We have a warm climate, it almost never freezes in Seville. Uh, we have few rainy days per year, which means uh, a lot of sunshine, but doesn't mean any lack of water, mm? thanks to the Guadalquivir River and many underground sources of water. So this combination allows us to have plants from all around the world, a very green city, many parks. Just in the park, and just talking about trees, we have 127 different kinds of trees in the park. Mm? But the most popular tree in the city, have you ever wondered where the Seville oranges come from? <laughs> they come from Seville. That's why we have so many thousands of orange trees. 35,000 orange trees in the city, approximately. Let's go around the corner to see one of them. Mm. As I mentioned before, the exhibition in 1929 was built both around and within the park. Within the park, this is the so-called Plaza de America, with America Square, which was conceived as a monumental entrance into the exhibition area. We have three different pavilions, uh, all of them designed by the same local architect, Aníbal González, in a different style. The one on the, for each of the buildings, the one on the background, the Royal Pavilion, was designing Gothic style or new Gothic, we are talking about revival styles. It's convenient to uh, get to know how to distinguish a bitter orange tree from a sweet one. There is one single, sure way. You pick an orange, you peel it, you bite it, <laughs> but there is also a clue. You pick a leaf, and if you look at the peach, it's thin, it makes like an extra, huh? little leaf. There is an extra little leaf here, yeah. and you see it? Yeah. You will find it always in the lemon tree and in the bitter orange tree. Almost never, just almost, in the sweet orange tree. That's the only way to try to distinguish them without having to <laughs> taste the fruit. Interesting. Uh, we also use the flowers, the orange blossoms, to make perfume. There is a, a very easy to remember brand, Agua de Sevilla, Seville water. That's a perfume made of orange blossoms. If you want suggestions for local food, That's the scientific name of the fig tree. Uh, if you compare uh, the leaf, you have to believe they belong to the same family. The fig tree is like a hand-shaped leaf, more or less. Most of the other figures, they have a large shape leaf. But if you look at the little fruits they have... Plaza de España. This was the National Pavilion in occasion of the Expo 29. This was designed by Aníbal González, the same local architect I mentioned before, who melted all the styles in the, this building. This is a little bit uh, Moorish, Renaissance, Baroque, Colonial, everything mixed in the same building, which is a very symbolic one. He designed this semicircular building with the two towers to break the horizontality. The semicircus is 200 meters wide, the towers are 65 meters high, but the most important thing, the one on your left, that's the North Tower, the one on your, on your right, the South Tower, which means that the semicircles opens westward, mm -hmm. and all the American pavilions were built over there. Mm -hmm. So this is like Spain hanging the new world. Yeah. 
They normally nag from a distance. <laughs> distance, close up, in between, anywhere, anywhere you like.
on forever. I wonder if you want to go and explore the house and come back to it. Now, let's do the garden while it's not too hot and while there's no people here. What do you think? We should go to the Esquira, and the Derecha. Shall we go? There is a central path down here. Lovely court, you know, little pergola for the ladies. Why for the ladies, see? It's called the Garden of the Ladies, Jardin des Dames. It's very unfortunate. It's sort of kind of that modernism of stuff you know, like you can get it all made up and stick it on and paint it. And the freezes. El fresco, El Jane said, mate, I gave her, it didn't remind me quite a lot of Yeah. Oh, yeah. But this is...